from the plus menu, select set elevation, enter the value of 2.8 meters. This will set the height of the sprinklers. From the coordinates view panel on the center bottom tab, you can confirm that the elevation has been set to 2.8 meters. Now from the alternate menu or the networks menu, please select sprinklers grid, which will automatically place the sprinklers at the previously defined height of 2.8 meters. Press the receptors button to select the required sprinklers type. As per the previous video, we have already defined the firefighting spaces. From these spaces, we can choose where we would like to insert the sprinklers. The software automatically calculates the area and proposes an ideal number of rows and columns for the sprinklers. You can then confirm this by entering the numbers of rows and columns as per the recommendation or select your own rows and columns. You can repeat the same step for every space. If you wish, you can follow the recommended values from the software, which will make it easier to insert the sprinklers and reduce your design time. And this is the philosophy of the program, to help reduce design time while maintaining quality. You can also enter the sprinklers manually if you wish, we will do this for the third space. We can also go into 3D view where you can check the sprinklers to ensure that they've been entered on the correct height and level. The next step is to assign the sprinklers into groups. To do this, go to the alternate menu and select group to receptors. Select the receptors that you require, press enter and then enter the name of the group. We can repeat the same process for the sprinklers that belong to the rest of the spaces and once the process has been completed, the name of the group will show up next to each sprinkler on our final drawing. If you wish, a single sprinkler can form part of more than one group. In this case, next to the sprinkler, both group numbers will be displayed. Finally, the program calculates and checks the coverage area for each sprinkler. Conforming spaces are depicted in green and non-conforming spaces are depicted in red. Thanks for listening and watching. This concludes step two.